In this video, I'm going to share a really cool DaVinci Resolve tutorial with you. We're going to show you how to do the locked on stabilization effect. If you've got a subject moving across your frame, it's really cool to lock in there if you want to focus on something specific. So I'm going to show you an example of a girl running with headphones on and we're going to lock on the stabilization so that you get a cool effect of the movement with locked on stabilization. Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and get started. So this is the effect that we're going for and you can see how how cool the footage looks once it is stabilized. So let's remove this and start again. We're going to drop our footage in and then we're going to head across to the Fusion page. And then what I want you to do is select the first node here, hit Shift Spacebar, and we're going to type in Tracker. We're going to select the Tracker and click Add. It's going to add a Tracker node for us. Then I want you to grab the Tracker and move it over the object that you want centered in your frame. We're going to use the headphones for this example. Now when you drop your Tracker, you'll be able to see a zoomed in version of what you have dropped it on. And then you can change the width and height to make sure that it has included the entire object that you want to track. Now don't go too close to the edges, but you want it centered on those crosshairs. Once you've finished placing it, you can also increase the search width to give it a bit more space to track to make sure that it does cover everything. And if there is a sudden movement, it's still going to track your object. Once you're happy with how you have centered your tracker, we're going to play it through and let it track our footage as the person is moving. So you can see as she's running, her movement is going up and down and our tracker has lost her there. So what happened there is our search parameters went wide enough to stay locked in and tracking on her. So this can happen sometimes, it just means you need to go back and readjust your search parameters with your pattern width and height and your search width and height. So we're going to go back and redo this tracker because we lost her there. So let's start that again. We're going to shift and spacebar, insert that tracker, click add, and then we're going to drop the tracker over our headphones and we're going to play through. Now it's locking on nicely with her movement. Once your tracker is established, we're going to head over to operation and we're going to choose match move. And then under merge, we're going to choose background only. Now you'll see there is a bit of gray that it has created, but if you play through, you'll see how it is tracking her movement and centering the object that you have chosen to track with all of the movement. So now what I want you to do is add a new transform node. So we're going to go shift spacebar, search for transform, select that transform node and add that in. And we're going to zoom in using the size here. And then once you are zoomed in, you can reposition so that they are centered again. And let's play that through and check we don't have any gray on the edges. So the zooming in does crop out a bit, but it gives you that stabilization and that locked in effect. So you can feel that movement and you kind of feel like you're doing what the person in the scene is actually doing. I love this effect and it's so cool to be able to use this. And DaVinci Resolve does such a good job of tracking our object. So let's head back into the edit module and you can watch that through one more time. And that's how you do locked on stabilization inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions or queries about this locked on effect, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you have any special requests for DaVinci Resolve tutorials you would like me to make, then let me know down below. If you like this locked on stabilization effect, make sure you smash that like button and we'll see you in the next video.